Hey everyone, it's me Katrina from Katrina's Crochet World. So today I am going to do a little tutorial to teach you how to do mosaic and how to read the chart. So to get started, as you can see the chart, there are the plain squares and then you've got squares that have the X's in them. So the ones with the plain squares are your single crochets and the ones with the X's are your double crochets. Your single crochets are done in the back loop. Your double crochets are done going down a row in the front loop for double crochet. Okay, so most charts it'll say down here, so you chain a multiple of 12 plus 2. And then on the side here you have A, B, A, B, A, B. Those are your colors. So I am going to be using two colors, which is pink and gray. And whatever you start off with, it's up to you. You can start with pink and then go in with the gray. Every other row, you switch out your colors. Okay. And when you see on the ends here, it says single crochet, which means a single crochet in the last one, you go through both loops at the end and the beginning of each time you switch and you go back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to start with the gray. And as you can see right here, so it says chain a multiple of 12 plus 2. So I'm going to chain a multiple of 12 plus 2. And I'm just using my furls hook a 6 millimeter. So I'll do a multiple of 12. And you do it as long as you want. You just keep doing that multiple of 12. And when you get to the length, you hit, you do, um, you chain two more. So you just keep doing that multiple of 12, as it says on the, the grid, until you get the length that you want. Okay, so I did 12 three times, okay? And now because it says a multiple of two, or sorry, plus two, I'm gonna add two more to that chain okay so when you first start off you're always going to have your chain and you're going to stay with that color to do the first row so your first row as you can see they're all blank is all single crochets in the back loop so this one on your hook doesn't count you go to the second one and you just go through the loop and do a single crochet all the way across just the one loop don't go through both just go through that front loop so this is my color a So just continue doing your single crochets all the way across. Okay, so I'm almost at the end here. And most of the time when you're doing a pattern, usually chain one and turn. Mosaic, you don't. So at the end here, you're going to go through both loops. Do your single crochet. So that is your first row. Is your single crochet and what I usually do when I am doing it I kind of circle so that's my first row done use a pencil so that you can erase it and you can reuse your chart again so we are done row one 
So now we're going to do row two, which means you need to change out your color. So what I usually do, I chain two, then you cut it off, pull it through. Then you're going to go back to the beginning, grab your next color, And then you're going to go through both of these loops and then you're going to bring through your other color yarn over pull up a loop and then you're going to go back in into that same spot and do a single crochet and that's where that goes into at the end there you do one single crochet through both loops so the second row with color B, another row of single crochets, but it's going to be in the back loop. So instead of going through both of those loops, you're going to go into the back loop because it's a single crochet. And you do that all the way across in the back loop. I usually work my end in so you don't go through both loops just pull that aside just in the back loop as you can see you can see that V but you're only going into the back loop And continue doing that until you get to the end okay so I'm at the end here and instead of going in the back loop again at the end and the beginning of every row you're going to go through both loops and do your single crochet and then you're going to chain two cut your yarn pull up and give it a little nug so that's your second row. So again, a circle, and I'm just going to go like this. So now we're back to color A, which is the gray that we started with. So grab your second color, or your first color. And again, you're just going to go into both loops at the beginning. Pull it through, yarn over, pull through, and then you're going to go back through there and do another single crochet. Okay, so as you can see with row three, you've got an X there, which means double crochet. So for this here, you're going to yarn over. This is there the first row, then you jump down, you go down the second row and you're going to go into that front loop, yarn over, pull that yarn through, make sure it's not too, too tight, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So seeing that I did that, I'm going to circle that one because I have already done it. And you've got one, two, three boxes here that are empty. Those are your single crochets. So in the next three stitches, you're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So this one here in the back loop, insert your hook, pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that's one jump over to the next one in the back loop single crochet that's two and three so I've done those three next one is a double crochet in the next row down 
So you yarn over it and you look the one beside it and you're going to go right here in that stitch right there. And you're just going to insert your hook, yarn over and do a double crochet. So in this pattern, it looks like we are doing three single, one double, three single, one double, three single, one double, three single, one double, three single. And depending on the length that you do, you just continue that pattern all the way across your work of the width and length that you have it. Okay, so you go to the next one one double crochet or sorry one single crochet in the next three stitches in the back loop so there's one two three so then you go to the next stitch and it's going to be a double crochet because there's an x there so when you look at the top here you're going to move your finger down to that the gray one right in the front loop and do your double crochet the next one single crochet in the next three stitches in the back loop and you can tell it's starting to form the pattern. Next stitch is your double crochet. So you this not up here, but you go down in that loop there, insert your hook and double crochet. Next three stitches, one single crochet in the back loop. Next one, double crochet, drop down to the next row, front loop, and double crochet. And you just repeat that pattern all the way across until you get to the end. So just remember your singles are worked in the back loop of the stitch, and your doubles are worked in the front loop in the row below that you're working on. For the singles it's a pretty simple um, mosaic if you know your singles and doubles crochets so easy to do And it's very, very addicting. <laughs> <clears throat> it's uh, some of the patterns that they have out there works. It's just amazing how they turn out. And as you can see, those double crochets are popping right out. So I have three stitches left. So the next three stitches, we're going to do one single in the back loop one single in the back loop then when you get to the end always no matter what you're going to single crochet in both loops chain two cut off your work pull it through okay so we're done with that row that's what I usually do when I'm going across. I just circle. So that's row three. Now we're going back to color B, which is the pink. We're going to go back to the beginning. And always at the beginning, insert your hook in both of those loops because it's asking right here, single crochet. Pull it through. 
And just always make sure you 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 have the long one and the short ones just drooping off to the side. So yarn over, pull through, and then go back into that same one and do your single crochet. So as you can see here, your first stitch is going to be a single crochet. So your single crochet is done in the back loop. Circle that off and your next one, sometimes it's hard depending on the pattern and the background that's in there. I printed with the green, that's how I did it. Your next one is going to be your double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to drop down, not up here, down to the pink one in that loop there and do double crochet. And this one is going to be the same pattern that we just did. It's just in different sections where we're putting them. So it's three single, one double, three single, one double, three single, one double. So in the next three stitches, you're going to go into the back loop and do one single crochet in the next three stitches. And then the next one, right beside this one here, you're going to jump down and right there, insert your hook and do your double crochet. And usually the way you can find out is just turn your work and this one back here is covered by that double crochet. So even if you hold it, you know the one beside it and the next two are your single crochets. So you go into the back loop and do a single crochet in the next three stitches. And then yarn over, jump down to the second row, insert into that front loop and do your double crochet. And you just repeat this all the way across till you get to the end. Single crochet in the back loop three times. Jump down to the second row into the first and double crochet. And you see how the patterns turning out. Single in the back loop in the next three stitches. Yarn over, jump down to the second row right here. Insert your hook into that loop, just the one loop, and double crochet. And you repeat that all the way across until you get to the end. So I'm at the end here and I did my double crochet and you've got two stitches left at the end. So we're going to do one single crochet in the back and then one single through both loops. I'm going to do one more row with you guys just so in case you don't get the hang of it and if need be you can go back rewind there is a button there that you can hit to uh, slow down if it's if it's too fast for you. So so we've done row four. Now we're back to color A, which is the gray. So you grab your second color. And always remember and sometimes it's hard to find that stitch but just kind of and you go through both loops pull 
pull through, drop down that short one, make sure you've got your long one, yarn over, pull through, and then go back in there and do your single crochet. So your next row, it's going to be the same pattern, but it's kind of back and forth, kind of working up. So in every row, it's going to be the same where you have your double crochet, sing, three single, double crochet, three single. So this one here, we're going to be doing two singles in the next two stitches. So we're going to be working in the back loop again. Insert your hook and do your single crochet. Next stitch in the back loop. Single crochet. Set that aside. Then we're going to do your double crochet which is that X right there, yarn over, and you're going to jump down to this one right here into that front loop and double crochet. Next three stitches in the back loop, single crochet. There's one, two, Three. Yarn over, drop down to the second row and in the front of this chain or loop, double crochet. And that's all it is for mosaic. Depending on the stitch that you're doing or the pattern, you just go by some of them, depending on who you can purchase a lot of these on Etsy. This one I had done up. Um, like I said, it all depends on what the creator is putting on there. Some of them don't even have X's. I find with doing the X's and the plain squares, it helps a lot because you know where those double crochets go. And it's easier for a person who is learning how to do mosaic. And at the top here, I had done the empty boxes, which is just a single crochet. The X means drop down double crochet, which means you drop down to the second row. And the single crochet in both loops, which means at the end and the beginning, you do your single crochet in both loops. I find it's easier that way to have a chart like this for someone and also to write it on the bottom so they know how many to chain plus whatever, if you need that extra plus whatever, however you're written your pattern for. So the next three chains or stitches, you're going to do single crochet in the back loop. There's one, two, and three. Yarn over and we're going to do a double crochet, drop down into the second row in that front loop and do your double crochet. And as you can see, the pattern is starting to form. Hence why I like mosaic. It's just amazing how patterns form. Next three stitches in the back loop, single crochet in the back. It's one, two, three, Yarn over, drop down to the second row, double crochet into that front loop. And like I said, if you're not sure which stitch is next, you can look behind the stitch that you just did, cover that up, and you know it's the next one right, right beside it. Single crochet in the back loop. That's one, two, three. Yarn over, drop down, front loop, double crochet. One single crochet in the back loop of the next three.
yarn over, insert in that front loop, and double crochet. And you just continue this all the way across till you get to the end. And mosaic can work up pretty fast for you as well. So when you get to the end here, you've got two stitches left. So you've done your three single crochets. You're going to yarn over in that last one there. You're going to go through the loop and do your double crochet. And then you're going to single crochet through both loops. Chain two and fasten off. So there's a little bit of a tutorial for you guys on how to do mosaic crochet. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And what I like to do, if I work in my ends, I just snip those off. If you want to work your ends in. If not, you can leave them and cut them to the length. And just leave them hanging there. Just make sure they're all leveled, same height. Or, like I said, you can just work in the ends, cut it off, sew them in, and that would be your um, your border. And then you can do a single crochet or anything around it, depending on what you want to do. So I hope this tutorial has helped you guys on how to do mosaic. Uh, it's pretty simple, like I said. The empty boxes, the empty squares, are your single crochets work in the back loop. And the X's are your double crochets work jumping down to the second row into the front loop. Your SC's are your single crochets at the beginning and the end where you do a single crochet in both loops. You've got AB, AB, which is your two colors. You can add other colors if you'd like. You can do three colors, four colors, whatever you'd like to choose. But you just you keep changing your colors in each row so row a was my gray b was my pink so gray pink gray pink gray pink and as you saw when i got to the end i do my single crochet in both loops chain two cut it off and then you go back and you start at the beginning bringing that through yarn over your hook pull it through and then go back in those two loops and do a single crochet and just continue your pattern. So I hope this helped you guys to learn how to do mosaic. I'm hoping to have more patterns for you guys as well. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up, give it a like, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already hit that notification bell for any time so you can be notified when I post any uh, tutorials or lives. And don't forget to hit that share button and share me out on social media. I greatly appreciate it. And there is a join button there if you'd like to become a member, a.k.a. family. That would be greatly appreciated. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, be safe, and happy crocheting. Bye, everyone.